In this problem, it is given a balloon is rising vertically from ground in such a way that with the high accuracy, its acceleration is linearly decreasing function of its altitude above the ground level. At the moment of release, the velocity of the balloon is zero and acceleration is A naught. Next part of the question says, the acceleration of the balloon becomes zero at certain height capital H above the ground level. Find the first part of the question. We need to calculate speed of the balloon at height capital H. In the second part of the question, we need to calculate the time taken by the balloon while moving ground level to capital H height. Okay, this is the question. Now, let us analyze the situation. What is happening? It is given at the ground level acceleration is A naught and it is decreasing with the height. That means the maximum acceleration of the balloon is at the ground level and it is in the upward direction. That means the net force acting on the balloon is in the upward direction and it is maximum at the ground level that is y equal to 0. Say y x is in, in the upward direction, vertically upward direction. So, at the y equal to 0, the force equal to m a naught. And in the next part of the question, it is given the acceleration of the balloon becomes 0 at certain height capital H above the ground level. That means at y equal to capital H, acceleration equal to 0. That means net force acting on the balloon will also be 0. Right. So, let us make the diagrammatical situation. Let us assume the mass of the balloon is small m. That means net force at the ground level should be equal to m a naught. And at height capital H, this force will become 0. And this force is decreasing linearly. So, graph of the force versus height should be like this. Okay. This is the net force plotted on the y axis and this is the height plotted on the x axis. Okay. Let us assume the velocity of the balloon at capital H height is equal to V. Say, speed of the balloon at capital H height is equal to V. If we consider balloon as our system, the net force acting on the balloon is in the upward direction. This net force include the resultant of the gravity and bind force. So, here we will say only the net force acting on the balloon that is acting in the upward direction. And because of this net force, the speed of the balloon is increasing because it is zero at the ground level. So, here we can apply the work energy theorem. According to work energy theorem, work done by all forces equal to change in kinetic energy. So, W net equal to delta K. Okay. And this W net we can calculate by this graph. We know the work done is equal to area under force displacement graph. So, here we can write the work done equal to area under F y graph. This should be equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy is equal to half m b square minus 0. So, let us write this half m b square minus 0. And this area should be equal to area of this graph m a naught multiplied by s divided by 2. That is equal to half m v square. From this equation, we can find the speed of the balloon at height capital H. This is the speed. Okay. Now, we can analyze the same situation by second approach. So, let us analyze the situation by the second approach. We are given the velocity of the balloon at the ground level is 0 and acceleration is pointing in the upward direction and decreasing linearly and becomes 0 at certain height. And we know this behavior, this type of the behavior of acceleration occur in simple harmonic motion. So, let us analyze the situation through simple harmonic motion. For this purpose, let us make the diagram. This is the situation at the ground level where velocity of the balloon is 0 and acceleration is pointing in the upward direction. And we know acceleration is maximum at this level. At height capital H, acceleration is equal to 0 and velocity will be maximum. This is the capital H. So, here we can say by the a simple harmonic model, this should be the mean position because at the mean position, the velocity is maximum and acceleration equal to 0 and this should be the amplitude position of the simple harmonic motion. Now, we can say the balloon is performing simple harmonic motion and in simple harmonic motion, the ground level, this level 
is the amplitude position of simple harmonic motion and this is the mean position of simple harmonic motion and this distance capital S should be the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion. Okay. So, now let us write the formula for the velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion. Okay. We know moving from the amplitude position to the mean position is equal to the one fourth of the time period in simple harmonic motion. We know this relation, right? We know this line, the time taken by particle in moving from position A, position A is here, B is here. This is one fourth of the time period. And we know maximum velocity in the simple harmonic motion equal to A multiplied by omega. And here A is equal to capital H. So, here we can write capital H multiplied by omega, this equation number 1 and also we know acceleration equal to omega square multiplied by A, right. And here we introduce V, V is the velocity at height capital H. Now, let us write the relation for the acceleration, maximum acceleration, maximum acceleration magnitude equal to A max and A max equal to omega square multiplied by capital A this equation make the relationship between the maximum acceleration and angular frequency and capital A that is the amplitude capital A equal to capital H and this is equal to A naught. So, from this relation we can find the value of omega that is under root A naught divided by H. Okay. Now, if we substitute the value of omega in equation number 1 we can find the value of V and V equal to H multiplied by this under root A not divided by h and v equal to under root a h, a not h. We can observe here this situation or this velocity is same as we have calculated by the previous approach. Okay. Now, let us calculate the time. As we discussed time taken by the particle from moving from this position to this position would be one fourth of the time period and we have calculated already the angular velocity, angular frequency of the SHM omega equal to under root a naught by h. Okay. And we know omega equal to 2 pi divided by time period, time period capital T. So, we can write 2 pi divided by capital T equal to under root a naught by h. Right. So, we got the value of capital T and we know this time should be equal to 1 fourth of the time period that is equal to T capital T divided by 4. So, this should be the time taken by the balloon from moving from this position to capital H position. Okay. Dear aspirants, Sengage India has launched the new edition of our J Advanced Physics books. Please visit www.sengage.co.in to buy a copy. You can also buy the books from Amazon or Flipkart.